Every 34 minutes, the Make-A-Wish Foundation grants a wish to a child in the U.S. who is suffering from a life-threatening illness. Mississippi teenager Cade Aidsworth is one of these children whose life has been changed by Make-A-Wish. Cade was 13 years old when he began experiencing cancerous tumors throughout his body and was diagnosed with stage 4 sarcoma. We spoke with Cade's family to learn more about his story. Cade was a typical teenage boy. He enjoyed baseball. He played video games. He was a boy scout. He liked to hunt and fish. And um, when he got sick in June of 2010, his whole world was turned upside down. He started radiation and then it was discovered that the treatment was not working. It was pretty rough on him, especially for a teenage boy. He couldn't get out and do much because his immune system was compromised. Despite being confined indoors, Cade found a way to stay in touch with his friends in the outside world through his passion for video games. Because that's the only way he could communicate with his friends. When they would get home from school, he, he was able to get online with them and talk and find out about their day and what was going on in school. While he was sick, Cade put a lot of video games. Um, I remember being a little nine-year-old and waking up in the middle of the night because I heard him screaming, but it wasn't bad because he was just playing games with his friends. During his difficult year of treatment, Cade's family was in touch with Make-A-Wish of the Mid-South. The exciting day finally came when Cade was cancer-free and it was time to make a wish. The Ainsworth family was granted a day they would never forget. One of his favorite ones was a game called Halo. So when Make-A-Wish asked him what he wanted to do for his trip, he wanted to go to Bungie, which is the original creators of Halo, and see like the behind the scenes look at it, see how it was made, meet the creators, that kind of thing. So we flew to Seattle, we spent the day at Bungie, we did all of this stuff, and Make-A-Wish paid for everything. They were working on a Halo game at the time, so we kind of got to get the behind the scenes look at that and kind of see their progress. And he also got to play the game with the actual creators. They answered all of his questions and they really like helped him have or, or gave him a good time. He was able to go on his Make-A-Wish trip and a few months later we found out that the cancer was back and he died in July of 2012. This trip ultimately it just made him like think past his illness and think past like his battle. The trip just gave him that hope that I don't think anything else could have. Cade's legacy lives on with his friends and family that share his story. His name can even be found in the Halo 4 credits under the title True Heroes Never Die. Please consider joining Lewisburg's fundraising efforts this week for Make-A-Wish to help kids like Cade find strength to face another day.